Hello everybody, how are you? Hello everybody, how are you? It is time to start our day, it is time to work and play. Hello everybody, how are you? All right guys, are you ready to start a new day and a new week? It's the start of a new week this week and we are full on in October. We'll get back to that in just a minute. Before we do, I brought something today that we haven't seen for a while. Do you remember this? I brought my mystery bag. Let's see if you remember the song. If you do, sing along with me. What's inside the mystery bag? The mystery bag, the mystery bag. What's inside the mystery bag that we'll discover today? Are you ready to find out? Let's see. What we're gonna do is peek at everything inside and see if we can tell what all these things have in common. Okay, you ready? Let's start with, oh, I have some money. I have a dollar. There's a dollar. You know what? Let me tape that up there for you guys so you can see my dollar. I have a dollar. Okay, that's the first thing. Do you think the rest of everything in here is going to be money? Let's find out. You ready? Okay. I have, this is definitely not money, but I'll bet you guys know what this is. I have Dory. Dory from Disney. Hmm. Dory, you can sit right there by my dollar. Dory from Disney. Dollar, Dory, Disney. Something's starting to sound right there. Something's starting to make a connection with me. I have a friend in here. I have a doctor. Doctor, Disney, Dory, Dollar. Hmm, I do feel like I'm hearing something. Let me see. Oh, there's one more thing inside. Oh, this one has me the happiest. I have a donut. I love donuts. Donut, Dory, don't eat my donut. Doctor, don't eat my donut. So what did you guys hear there? What all do we have? We had a dollar, Dory from Disney, doctor, and donut. I hear Dory, duh, Disney, duh, donut, duh, dollar, duh, doctor, duh. Anybody know what letter makes that sound? The letter D. That is our letter of the week this week. Pat yourselves on the back. Now do the other side. You guys are getting so smart and you're learning your letters and you're learning the letter sounds. I am really proud of all of you guys. Nice job. Well, now that you know what the letter is and you know what sound it makes, you know what time it is. It's time to practice writing our letter D. We're gonna do the uppercase and the lowercase again. Now, let's take a peek at our D. Let me get my marker ready here. When we drew the B a couple of weeks ago, we drew the straight line down Looks the same for the D. We went back to the top and then we gave it two bellies. Do you remember that? The letter B had an upper belly and a lower belly. Well, the letter D doesn't get two bellies. He's just got one big belly up in front. So grab your pencil, your crayon, your marker, and your alphabet journal, your ABC journal. Find your D page and let's practice writing the D together. And remember, if you don't have the D page, if you don't have something to write with, your finger does the job too. Just put it up in the air and trace along with me. You ready? We're gonna start at the top, just like we always do. We're gonna start at the top and we're gonna come down. But then we're gonna go back up to the top and we're gonna give him one great big belly. He's just gonna come all the way around to the bottom. That's how you make the uppercase D. Start at the top, go down, back up, all the way around to the bottom. Okay, now if you notice, the lowercase d looks a lot like a lowercase b, doesn't it? The only difference is the belly's in the back this time. So we're gonna start over here. We're gonna start at the top. We're gonna come down. We're gonna go back up. And this time, we're gonna go towards the uppercase d. And we're gonna give it a belly back there. So it's like a b, only the circle part is on the other side. It's looking back at the uppercase d. Start at the top down, back up, and around. Now remember what these lines are for? These are for you guys to keep practicing. We trace it and then we practice it. So I'll do it one time with you. The top line we're going to do with uppercase D. Start at the top, come down, back up, great big belly out in front. Lowercase D. Start at the top, come down, and now I just go back up to that middle line. I come back up and give them a little bitty belly backwards. Okay, it's time to find some D words. If you have magazines, uh, if you get the newspaper, there's ads in there on the weekends you can cut out from there. Anything your grown-up says is okay. You can go looking, hunting for Ds. 
you can look for the letter D for the picture D and then we'll glue it on down here. Now I did a little hunting before we got together today and I found, excuse me Dory, first one I found was a lowercase d. I found a lowercase d so I'm going to add a little glue to it and we're going to glue them on to the bottom of my D page on my journal. He's going to go right there. I also found, this one's a little bit smaller, ah, it's getting bent up. I found an uppercase D. He's the smaller one. I found a little uppercase D. He's not going to need much glue. He's a little guy. Then I thought maybe we could find a picture together. Here's my lowercase, my uppercase. So I was kind of looking through my ads this weekend and look at what I found on the bottom. That's a picture of a dog and dog starts with the letter D. So I'm going to take my scissors and this one happens to be dressed for Halloween. I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut my dog out. Sorry cats, you guys were last week. I'm going to cut the dog out of the picture and I'm going to add him, give him a little bit of glue, add him to my D page. Here we go. What D words can you guys find to add to your D page this week? I hope you can find some good, fun things that you can add on when you practice your writing. For now though, I'm gonna push our Ds aside because we're gonna take another look at the circle behind me here, the circle time things behind me. Okay, like I said, we are in October and we are full on in October. We're still gonna be there for a few more weeks. Can you help me clap, clap October, you ready? October, very good. Remember it's three syllables, so we clap three times. October. Now I'm looking at the letters in October. Last week we noticed there was a C. No D's in October. It says O C T O B E R. No D's this month, just a C for us. Last week we also talked about that we switched over to the color orange. We had been talking about red, now we've found the color orange. Did any of you guys go on an orange hunt last week? They're really easy to see orange this month because there's lots and lots of pumpkins out in the world and most of them are orange. So as you're going around the world, look and see how many orange pumpkins you can find. Maybe you can find three. Maybe you can find four. Maybe you can find five. Let's make five fingers, ready? Five little pumpkins sitting on a gate. The first one said, oh my, it's getting late. The second one said, there are leaves in the air. The third one said, I don't care. The fourth one said, let's run and run and run. The fifth one said, I'm ready for some fun. Ooh, went the wind and out went the lights. The five little pumpkins rolled out of sight. That third guy, he puts his hands on his hips. He's got kind of an attitude. He's a little sassy, isn't he? He doesn't care what's going on. So those were our numbers, three, four, and five. Our shape this month was the shape of a square. Do you remember our song? A square is like a box. A square is like a box. It has four sides, they're all the same. A square is like a box. Remember how we talked about there's one, two, three, four sides. And when we say they're all the same, that means that they are the same length. Each one measures the same amount. If a square has four sides, how many corners does the square have? You ready to count with me? One, two, three, four. Four corners. Do you remember our shape last month was, was a circle? How many corners did that have? Zero. It went around and around and around. It never had any corners to turn. Our letter this week, we've looked at this pretty well already today, is D. Uppercase D, lowercase D, and of course a picture of a dog. Can you help me make the D sound one more time? It says D. Dog. Donut. Double. Dozen. Think how many more words you can find that has the D sound. Can you find more? See what you can find today. You know what I just noticed? Listen real carefully to this. We said D, we said three. Listen to it again, D, three, three, D. Do those sound the same or do they sound different? They sound the same, they have the same ending sound, D, three. 
We're going to talk about that more on Wednesday when we get together. Those are rhyming words, D and three, words that sound the same. We're going to talk a lot more about that on Wednesday. We are still in the season of fall, and the weather is getting cool outside. You can see I'm wearing long sleeves today when I've been wearing short sleeves because it's starting to get cold, so we have to change the way we're dressing when it does that. Now, take a look at my calendar. I haven't gotten it updated yet. I was going to do that with you guys. Yesterday, let's change all this. Today is going to be, let me move that. Today is Monday. Yesterday was Sunday. Tomorrow will be Tuesday. Now, this still says four because yesterday was the number four. It's not four anymore. Let's take it down and let me grab the next number. What number comes after four? That's right, five. So today is Monday, October 5th, in the season of fall. Those are all of our circle time things. Now I want to add one. Every Monday we get together and we do a circle time, and we're going to add something to talk about during our circle times. Do you remember last week when we were talking about creation, I showed you a globe. Do you remember this? This was what the earth was. And we talked about how the blue was the water, and the green and the brown was the land. Well, we're going to get a little bit more into that today. Let me show you another thing. If I took that globe, that big circle, and I took off the pictures on here and I laid them flat so we could see them without them being on a ball, this is what you would see. You would see what we call the continents. This is just like the globe, but it's laid flat. I could circle it around like this, and then I could have it like it was on the globe. But we want to look at the whole picture today, so we're going to look at it like this. These are the seven continents of the world. There's North America, South America, Europe, Asia, Africa, Australia, and Antarctica. Those are all the different places that you can live in the world. And we're going to go through each one over the next several months and learn a bit, little bit more about them. We're going to start with this green one right here, North America. Let me show it to you. I have it hanging on the wall back here. This is North America. How cool is this? This is where we live. But look at how big it is. There's all the way up here, over to here, all the way down to here, and in here. All of this part is North America. We live right here in this middle part called the United States because we've got this great big earth, right? Let me show you one more time. We've got this great big earth, and on the earth, it's broken down into pieces, these different land pieces. There were seven like we talked about. So the earth is broken down to that, then each land piece gets broken down a little bit more. We live in this part right here in the middle because North America has Canada up above us, it has Mexico down below us, and then it's got some other parts that we'll talk about later. But we live in this middle part, the United States of America, right there in the middle. Isn't that neat how it starts so big and then gets a little bit smaller, then it gets a little bit smaller. Now inside, the United States, you ready for this? There are 50 states in here, 50. And we live in the state of Illinois. Let me show you a map of that, of the United States themselves. So we had the whole earth, we had the continents, we had North America, and inside North America was the United States. Here is the United States. This is a map of the US. That's how what we call it sometimes to shorten it, the US. And we live, like I said, right here in Illinois. Now, next week when you guys come back, we're going to talk a little bit more about North America because each continent has different things about them. They have different ways that they dress, different languages that they speak, different foods that they eat, different music that they listen to. And we want to learn a little bit about all of that. So next week when we get together, we'll still be looking at North America and we'll learn a little bit more about it. But we'll learn more than just about where we live because we know a lot about that already. We want to learn about other places in our continent as well. So we'll start learning about that next week. Before we go, I would like to play a game with you guys. It's called the Do Don't Game. If you've ever played Simon Says, then you know how to play the Do Don't Game, okay? Here's what we're gonna do. If I say do, then you do it. If I say don't, then you don't do it, but it's gonna get tricky. If I say, do clap your hands, you'll clap your hands. Ready? Do clap your hands. Okay, you can stop. Now, 
listen to my words. Don't watch what I'm doing. If I say, don't clap your hands, but I go like this, don't clap your hands, are you going to clap? No, even though I'm clapping, you don't, okay? Don't clap when I clap if I say don't. Listen to my words. The reason we're playing this game is because do and don't, guess what letter they start with? The letter D. So come join me. Everybody stand up. We're going to go play the do-don't game. All right, who's ready to play the game? It's the do-don't game that we're going to play. Remember, it's the letter D. D, D, D do, D, D, don't. No matter what I do with my body, you only do it if I say do. I'll take it easy on you at first. You ready? Everybody stand up with me. Do clap your hands. You can stop. Do tap your shoulders. Don't touch your tummy. Ah, did anybody touch your tummy? I said don't. Even though I did it with my hands, my words said don't. So remember, you got to be a really good listener because I'm going to try to trick you. All right. How about this one? Do tap your elbows. Do put your hands behind your back. Don't put your hands on your head. Did I get anybody? Did you put your hands on your head? I said don't. All right, we're going to do it again, only this time a little bit faster. You ready? Do touch your knees. Do put your hands behind you. Do put your hands over you. Don't put your arms around you. I said don't. A little bit faster. You ready? Do cover your ears. Do cover your nose. Don't cover your mouth. Don't cover your eyes. Don't put your hands on your tummy. Don't tap your shoulders. Do clap your hands. Do march. Do jump up and down. Don't stop. I said don't. Did anybody stop? Did I get you a few times there? Okay, let's do it one more time. We'll slow it down. Do flap your wings. Do flap your wings in front. Do circle your arms. Don't swim. Did I catch you? All right, guys, you can play that game on your own today. You can go do your D pages. Thank you again for joining me, and I will see you next time where, like I said, we're going to talk about some rhyming words and read some nursery rhymes and do some activities together. Bye, guys. Have a great day.